Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Carolyn and welcome back to another episode of Beauty and Brews. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is Friday today that I'm filming this, so you'll be seeing this on Saturday. So if your Saturday is going well, um, today we're doing a beer that's going to be inspired by a trend a little bit because I went to Whole Foods and I just so happened to notice, as you can see in the title, a watermelon ale. So if you're interested to see how this makeup looks turns out and the review of this beer, I suggest you keep on watching. All right, before we jump into this episode of Beauty and Brews, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love beauty and you love beer, because those things I love as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today I'm feeling very summery. I'm feeling the vibe of the watermelon trend and today we are reviewing a Thomas Hooker Brewery Company's watermelon ale and it is 4.5 ABV and they are located in Bloomfield, Connecticut. So let's go ahead and check out the beer can. So this beer has only a 3.1 rating on untapped so um, it says strangely refreshing so I hope that that 3.1 is just maybe because a lot of people who thought they were going to try this beer just didn't particularly like like it just because it's a watermelon beer. Um, it is a seasonal release. It's only released through April through August so I'm really happy that I found this at Whole Foods. Um, it says this crisp and tasty ale has a hint of watermelon essence resulting in a refreshing thirst quenching brew sure to become a summertime favorite. So I personally really love Sea Quench by Dogfish Head. That is an actual sour. That's one of my personal favorites for the summertime. I do love a good shandy every once in a while. Anything super light that I could drink on a very hot day. It is pretty hot as well today. So let's go ahead and crack this beer open and see what it's all about. All right, so right off the bat, you can smell watermelon immediately as you're pouring the beer. It is, it is an ale, so it's gonna be golden in color and see-through is not very carbonated, which is good um, because there was very little head on this and uh, it has a very smooth mouthfeel. It is very aromatic in that sense of when you get that taste, you immediately taste watermelon up front. It is very clean flavored. It's not too artificial flavored. And I really enjoy that when it comes to like fruit flavored beers, because a lot of times they have like just this artificial flavoring to them. This does not. It is very drinkable. Um, my only concern with it is that it has that um, ale aftertaste and if, you're, if you aren't familiar with that ale aftertaste, it just is like this kind of maltiness to it that mixes with the watermelon flavor, not as well as I would prefer it. But overall, this is super light body and super crisp, super smooth, and is pretty flavorful for what it's worth since it is a watermelon ale. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this beer while I do my makeup, and I'm really excited for you guys to see this look. I have an idea in my head. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the makeup look and I'll meet you guys right back. Okay, so we're back and we're gonna go ahead and start with the eye primer. This is the ABH eye primer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lids and then we're gonna go from there. I've already taken off my makeup from today in this vicinity. I don't feel like doing my whole face makeup, so. We're gonna start with this color from the BH Trendy in Tokyo palette. This is the color Tempura. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that all over the one lid. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera so you guys don't have to sit through that. But I will be playing with the ABH cake liners today as well. I'm doing the yellow so I can get a little bit more of a lime green effect when it comes to using the shade Bamboo. I know that they have the shade Wasabi in here, but it is a shimmer, it's not a matte, so it's not like the best shade to create a watermelon look with. 
Next color I'm gonna take is the bamboo color from this palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my inner crease. But before we get into the crease with the color bamboo, I'm actually gonna take this army green color from the Dare to Create and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the crease as well first and then I'm gonna layer on the darker color green. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in with a Morphe brush. This is giving me more of a lime green look to it and I enjoy that thoroughly. That's what I'm kind of going for. Now I would have used my Milk Cosmetics palette, but I just don't feel comfortable enough with it um, to really mix with other eyeshadows just because of how bad one of my other videos turned out with it. So I think that's it that I'm going to do with this Army Green color from the Dare to Create Morphe palette. I'm going to take the Alamar brush and I'm taking that shade Tempura again and I'm just going to buff more and blend those two colors a little bit more together. Next, I'm taking a Luxie mini tapered brush right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade Bamboo from the BH palette. Go ahead and apply that in the outer corner. Greens are really hard to formulate, and I was really debating on getting the Morphe Make It Make and Bank palette that has a bunch of those green shades in it, and I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm just building that up in the crease as well. I'm gonna take that Morphe brush that had the army green color on it, and I'm gonna take that and apply a little bit more. And try to deepen that up a little bit. It's not as green as I would hope for it to be, unfortunately, with that bamboo color. Even with the primer that I have on, I'm trying to like really pack that in. Let's pack it in a little bit with a shader brush. Okay, there we go. A little bit more pigment come through. All right, so not the best. Definitely want to deepen that crease up a little bit more, so I'm gonna run and get that melt palette and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have the melt palette. So I'm gonna take that small tapered brush and I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna tap it on the mirror. I hear that's a good trick. I just don't want it to be super intense at first. I just want to be able to build it up. Okay, yeah, that's much better. A little bit more depth in there. It was looking really just blah. All right, take that Morphe brush, the leftover lime green on it, and I buff that together. Look on the other side as well. I always get so nervous when I use the Melt Cosmetic Palette because they're just so intense in color. I just never know what I'm gonna get out of it. Like, am I gonna mess up or is, or is this gonna look good? I can't tell sometimes. We're gonna apply the ABH Primer into the middle of my eyelid and we're gonna apply that really cool lime green shimmer in the middle. I'm gonna tap the excess on my hand. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that bamboo color and I'm gonna buff the outer bit on this just to make it less of a harsh line. And then I'm gonna take another Morphe brush. This is the M167 brush and I'm taking that color Wasabi. And I'm spraying it with the, it looks like In Beauty. I got this in a BoxyCharm monthly box as well.
All right, next I'm taking a, another Luxie brush. This is in the brown brush. And I'm gonna take one of the shades here. Let's take the red color named Fashion. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my lower lash. Clean up some of that red, and I'm going to take the shade Blossom, Tokyo is known for all their cherry blossoms, am I right? And I'm doing that over the red, just so the red is not as harsh. I'm going to take a little bit of the color Emoji as well. That looks so cool already. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and then we're going to go ahead and apply lashes and mascara and they'll be right back to finish up the complexion okay i'm back um this eye looks way better than this eye but we're not going to go ahead and get into that because the melt cosmetics eyeshadow all of a sudden started getting really patchy on this eye right here and i tried blending it in and then this side started getting patching it was like a whole ordeal i have the cake liners i'm really excited about so I added a little bit of that wasabi color. It's so pretty. I'm in love with that wasabi color. It looks so freaking cool. So we have the cake liners and I was thinking about taking, should I add the bright green on it? Hmm, should I? I'm gonna take a paintbrush and my shot glass of Fireball with just water in it. Go ahead and apply this onto uh, as the liner for this look. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is where I'm at. I think this looks so freaking cool. I'm gonna take CoverGirl concealer. I'm going to go ahead and clean this complexion up a bit. And I'm using my friend's, um, not using her eyelashes. I'm using eyelashes that I bought from her that she sells. I'm going to go ahead and tag her Instagram below so you can check out her eyelashes that she has. Um, her name's Ronnie and she's very sweet and has her own businesses going, so definitely check her out. I can't wait for her to see this makeup look that I did and apply these lashes with. I hope she likes it. Alright everybody, this is the final look. I'm so happy with how this makeup look came out. Um, I do like this mirror. Not sure if I would get it again. It is drinkable. It's not gross. But overall, it's not a amazing watermelon flavored beer that I would be like, I need to, I need to have more of that. Like I want something that's gonna be like, mmm, I want to drink that, you know? Just like when we have our favorite beers, you go, I want that beer. I could go for that beer right now. This would be a beer I may get if it was like the last option. So it was good enough to finish. So definitely check it out. If you are down for the watermelon trend, you wanna hop on that vibe, check them out. It is Thomas Hooker Brewing Company. They're located in Bloomfield, Connecticut. And if you're familiar, comment down below what other beers that you have had from them. Um, I saw some amazing varieties of CBD beers that I'm very intrigued by and would absolutely love to try one day. So I'm gonna add this to the list of the breweries that I need to visit in the future. So if you've enjoyed this watermelon inspired makeup look, give this video a big old thumbs up on your way out and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys. I'll see you next time on the next episode of Beauty and Bruise. Bye.